Hello, hello, and welcome to this new tutorial. This time, I'm going to teach you how to use the map editor. So let's go and open the map editor menu. Let's uh, enter your map's name. So I'm going to go with test one. I'm going to explain why one letter. Um, the map width. So I'm going to go with uh, 30 hexes in width and 30 hexes in, uh, in height. So we just hit new map and we got our map. So in order to zoom in right out, uh, I guess you watch the game mechanics tutorial. So you just use the scroll button and to move the map around the same thing. You just hold down the scroll, uh, the middle mouse button so that you're scroll. Anyway, um, let's just go over the UI first. Uh, randomized terrain, I guess it does what it says. It just randomizes the terrain. You can hit it multiple times and it's just going to feel all um, plain tiles. So let's say you placed a bunch of cities, airports, factories, refineries, whatever. You do ref uh, randomized terrain. It's not going to go over it. And if you go uh, reset, it's not going to remove it. Same for rivers. If I go like that, uh, if I go with the roads, same like for the roads. Oops, sorry about that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's go over this now. Um, so roads will always auto connect uh, to the so let's let's just take another example because they're all they're, they're the, the issue the issue here is because we got a bunch of cities and we're trying to place uh, roads so look I selected uh, the first road and you see it just changes it to like fit um, every direction right because uh, regardless of if even if I select this one, you see like I just place it right, but if I place it here, it changes it automatically. So it's just because it's better, you know. Uh, you don't so you don't have to change and place everything you need. So the issue here is we got two cities, and if I press it here, well here it should be fine though. Yeah, here it's fine. But if I go here. Well, you see, there are two cities, so it doesn't know which way it should go. So it just places a a dark uh, without texture tile. So in order to fix that, uh, you want to pick the right tile. So uh, I'm, I want to pick this one uh, because I want my road to go down towards the refinery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down uh, left control and hit left uh, mouse button click um, you know basic click and so what it does is it overrides the um, auto connection with the roads same with the rivers so uh, let's say uh, no there is no auto connection with the rivers actually <laughs> my bad and neither with the road road rail roads anyway so when you have that kind of issue uh, let's say uh, you do like this yeah well actually uh, not a good idea but uh, that was not that wasn't a good example so like this like that see you just can't have like the direction you want because it forces you to place it like that so what you do is uh, you select the tile you want you place your mouse over it and you just hold down control and you just place it and that's it it's gonna stay you know that's pretty simple that's uh, I think the only difficult thing about the editor uh, the only hidden feature uh, that you couldn't really guess on your own but it's written on the guide on steam so don't worry um, yeah that's I really want to point that one that one out um, so well I just placed placed a bunch of crap so what about I want to remove it quickly uh, so I just select the plane tile. It should be present present in uh, all categories. So you just pick it. And you are going to, you see here, brush size, one. So it's one tile. So it says left control plus metal mouse button. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down uh, my left control key on my keyboard and play with my scroll button. So you see it changes this, the brush size. It has no limits, so you can do whatever you want. And now if I do this, it's just going to replace everything. So now to have it more obvious with the water, 
uh, that's how it would work. Yeah, I could go with like the entire map at once or with cities or like whatever. Uh, it's, it's just like, it's quite slow to on to change the thing. But anyway, we got we, we got our uh, map of cities. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep that. I was just kidding. Um, anyway, so let's just randomize the terrain. Let's just place a couple of cities, like a bunch of them. Like here, 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 here. Well, let's just place a factory just for fun. Airfields around cities. Why not? And um, what next? Well, intro text. So here is going to be your scenario's name. So I'm going to just type for, uh, for example, my scenario. And here my description. Let's just hit set. Now let's go over to victory. Let's just write victory, set, defeat, defeat, set, and now, well, the next UI element, I'm going to show you in a sec uh, what those do. Uh, hide UI, just press F10 and you are going to get the UI that will disappear simply. So because uh, I added this because it takes quite a lot of space. And so when you are uh, painting a map, you might wanna, um, especially when you use the overlay. Uh, so the overlay allows you to import any picture in the editor um, so that you can paint on top of that so that's what i use when i make my europe maps or any of my campaign scenarios i just take real order of battles uh, i just import them and then i just draw on top of them so yeah and so the issue is i usually use the whole screen uh, to paint so um, i just hide the ui and you see you can just still paint even if the ui is hidden you know so um let's just hit save and oh one of the player has no country set oh what wow, that is that is an interesting error so let's just hit so this is not the settings of the the editor this is the settings of the campaign i'm going to go over that in a bit so just press escape to bring this but to bring this uh, menu so obviously if you quit to main menu it's not going to save and to save, well, it says there, there is a problem. So let's go to settings. And here you got uh, your map settings. So it, it says that the players don't have a country. So indeed, they don't have a country. So let's fix this. Let's just go with Germany and uh, France. Why not? So let's give Germany the Axis faction and France the Allies. So you see you got neutral, neutral that would be like Luxembourg, uh, that would be Portugal, Turkey, uh, neutral neutral countries as the AI won't do anything. Uh, they're going to be present on the map, but they won't play unless they are attacked. And when they are attacked, they're just gonna join the opposite faction of the player that attacked them. So let's say I play as Germany, I attack Luxembourg, they are going to join the Allies. So that's how it works. Um, so I'm going to set them to Allies, so we are at war. Um, now, those buttons, uh, you don't really want to care about them. Don't, you don't need to touch them unless you make a campaign. I'm going to go over this in a while. So here you can change the, the, the date, so let's just change it to 1940. The month, let's uh, pick May. And the day, I guess it was the, uh, was it the 18th? No, the 10th, the 10th of May, the invasion of France, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, here we can just change the amount of players. Uh, you can just change that to like 37 because that's absolutely all countries in the game. Uh, that's like all of them, I guess there are 37. So if you want to make a map with all of them, uh, you know what you do. Um, so this, I'm not going to go over this now. Uh, this is default, default, uh, I'm not sure about how to pronounce this word, um, numbers. So you might, you just don't care about them for now. Uh, money amount for selected player. So as you can see, when you select the player by clicking on its name, 
um, it shows well zero because when you start you get zero money so what you want to do is like enter like I don't know 1000 for Germany then you pick France and it goes to zero and if you pick Germany it goes back to 1000 because this is this player players money so France let's go with this zero for France um, how many days per turn uh, I want to go with the one if you if you leave zero it's just the time is just not going to move forward so I'm just going to move uh, just just go with one allow snow in winter so this is for the Pacific for example um, it's to allow season change um, so basically if you do this allow snow in winter falls so it means that there is not going to be any snow in winter so if you are making uh, a Pacific map uh, you might want to turn that turn that uh, to false actually now there is snow in winter um disable weather this is to disable the rain or blizzard so again if you're making a scenario in north africa north africa for example you don't really want to see rain grounding down uh, your planes so make sure that this is disable disable to true uh, if you're doing yeah North, North Africa, but I, I won't do that. So I want I want weather in my map. Uh, number of turns to win. So uh, I'll go over that later. Um, change season of tiles. So you see now we can hit save and it's gonna work. So you see our map is currently in the summer season, right? But what if we wanted to start uh, with uh, winter season? So successfully change all tiles to the new season. So that's what I hit this button: change season of tiles. And look at that, we got a map in winter now. So that is what this button is for. Um, for now, I'll just uh, quickly, so select uh, the player you want, and then just right click. You can just right click on any tile. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to set victory points. So you got normal victory points, those are like the black ones. Uh, you got major victory points, so you got the golden ones, and you got secondary victory points that bring uh, some more experience when you are playing a campaign, but they are not required uh, to achieve victory. So I'm going to go with a major victory point for Germany here. Uh, yep, this airfield as well, and a normal one here. I'm going to go to settings, select France. Uh, so like right click on this city let's go with major 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 uh, and let's go with normal here okay so now let's go to road category let's pick the first one let's do this and by holding down the left click the roads are going to be placed automatically um so let's do it over again and let's do it with like the railroads for example like that, just like that. You see, like, you can just place, place it however you want. Um, the rivers as well. It's like everything that, uh, you know, has this, like, all the patterns. Um, change biome. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't go over any of those. Change biome. So change biome is going to change uh, the brush you are using, actually. So desert, um, summer, or winter. So I could just place a bunch of desert tile here and have like a desert in France or whatever scenario we're making currently. Um, so I just place a bunch of like oasis and like trees palm trees and like dunes and like whatnot uh so i'm just gonna hit save um okay let's just okay let's let's keep going uh i select germany and now i can go to buy unit um so i'm just going to buy a bunch of infantry so i'm just going to place them on the victory points so i'm good you know what i'm going to do that Let's do that. Yep, here we go. Okay, I bunch of place. Uh, I I bought. Uh, well, no, I placed a bunch of infantry. Sorry. Um. So, well, what if you misplaced it? What if you want to remove it? Well, you do right click, 
and now it depends if you want to delete the unit completely from the map from everything you do uh, remove units remove all units on the tile and it's going to disappear and now it's been also deleted from the list of units of Germany's uh, of Germany but what if you just misplaced it you you meant to place it like let's say here well you do replace unit and you see the tooltip says sends the unit back into the player's reserve so replace unit is going to re to remove it from the map but if you go to deploy it sends it back to your reserve that is the reserve so you can just place it again replace and you see i can you can just but if i do remove it, it just removed so i'm just going to place a bunch more again because i want to capture and show you the, the texts the different texts that are going to be shown um so if i were to play to press remove all units you know what i'm gonna save uh count cities well i was gonna count the cities so one two three four this is just for statistics so if i do remove all units it just basically removes all the units from the map and from the reserve as well so since i saved i'm just gonna go quit to main menu go to quit game uh, scroll down and now we got text test one which is our map so here you can just choose the configuration so uh, let's just play as the German so I can show you a victory uh, playing first otherwise we can start and let's go so my scenario my description that is what I showed you earlier this is the scenario description uh, the, the scenario's name and the scenario's description so now you got your map you can basically play so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go there. Oh, I disabled the animations. Okay, whatever. Oh, well, that was victory. So you see, victory, victory, uh, 20 seconds. So this is, um, this is pre, let me show you, map editor. I, I, should, I should have written something else. <laughs> oh no. Set, save, go back to my menu. Uh, test one and now if we play as France but if we have the Germans uh, as AI they should be able to take oh they didn't well they took both of them but they should have taken both of those as well well they're gonna do it anyway right aren't you aren't you gonna do it okay defeat Oh no, you see? So this is this text is always going to be shown, uh, but the description is what you can change. Uh, so here, time to complete the scenario is just the time uh, it took you to finish the scenario. So if we go back to our map editor, I, I think I showed you the basics, basically. Um, now I will show you... Um, so you see, now it's, it's ticked because it keeps... Um, what you played uh, the previous time uh, in quick game it doesn't matter like every time you're going to go to quick game it just resets it resets this so it doesn't matter as long as you're not doing a campaign it doesn't matter so now everything that i said that i would show you uh, earlier i'm going to show it to you now so what if uh, you don't you don't want to make just a quick game but what if you want to make an actual campaign well this is going to be a just oh you got a bike with the yeah right just disappear thank you oh wait 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 i think i'm going to show you how to rename the city first so right click on the on the tile so i'm just going to right click on um this a city for example right click and now we can just enter berlin and you can just click this one and be like i don't know paris whatever so uh, you can just right click again delete the text and just going to remove it right click wait what oh yeah yeah because it doesn't it doesn't select the thing so like uh, you could be like just a space and just remove it anyway uh, right click and what if what if you want to remove a flag what if you don't want uh, because like if you do this it's still gonna keep the flag right so I'm just gonna go reset tile and this reset tile is going to reset absolutely everything on the tile so now if I pick fronts again if I go here place this 
major if I rename it my city if you go right click reset tile it's going to reset everything all the tiles data is going to be reset so it's going to remove the flag remove the name remove any units on the tile so what I want to show you was uh, this number of turns to win so let's just go with two turns and I'm going to show you what right now what I what what I mean by by that um, so just do uh, you select you select the player this is important and we're gonna be Berlin for example and here we're gonna be with like uh, we're gonna go we are gonna go with uh, again Paris why not so right click set victory points to be held is going to be shown is going to be shown sorry set victory point to be held and you see now they're they're red uh, this is just to bring your attention that those uh, are set as victory points to be held uh, it's just like something for you to see you can just do like remove and it's going to go back to normal but i'm going to go and go with like set victory points to be held so i'm going to hit save save so if we go back to settings, number of turns to win, two, right? So if we play, what does that mean? Well, it simply means that here you see one out of two. So now you got this slash two that appeared. And if you go to uh, information, you got your uh, scenarios goals. So capture all major victory points or hold all following victory points until turn two so two that's the value that we chose and we need to keep uh, the city the tiles that were in red so berlin and paris right that's what we said so let's just do next turn and victory because it is turn two so now what if what if for the curious of of you what if uh this city didn't have any name what if and what if we had three turns now right and I'm actually going to whoop, select Germany remove so now we only have this one to to hold quit quit game test one Germany human start now it's raining whatever so now if we go back so now it's like one out of three so we need to hold three turns I mean until turn three and hold all following victory points until turn three three and this is a bug uh this is completely a bug because it should be showing your uh, city uh, it should it should show uh i guess uh the tiles coordinates and the tiles type so this is this is a bug i gotta fix that but it should be showing something here definitely uh so my bad my bad for that so let's just oops nope that's the other. so let's just hit next turn next turn oh i did it quick but quickly but we just played two turns so and you see our victory takes hey, hey 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 so that is how it works so now what if we were we wanted to make a campaign as i said uh, so let's go to germany again let's pick our favorite sdk of z222 let's do this let's remove this one so we can just do it in one in one shot um germany just just remove this vp to be held and let's set that back to zero now uh save so now what you want to do is go to campaign settings and so here uh what the text says um but i'm going to explain it now uh basically here you enter the name of the file the name of the the map that you want uh the users the user to have the choice to choose uh, whenever uh, the player uh, wins the scenario so I'm just going to do it like quickly so it's it's more obvious so we made test one right so we want to have the choice between text test two and test three so this is going to be our two other scenarios and in case of a defeat we want to go to test uh, three and test four for example and let's just, let's just keep this one empty you know so you don't give the you the, the uh, your uh the user the choice between two scenarios so test two test three oops test four my bad and campaign this is really important 
otherwise the scenario is not going to be considered as a campaign so now it is really important to have a player set as plays first and uh, one of them uh, playing as the AI because when you play a campaign you don't get to choose which uh, is which because I'm going to show you now uh, so you hit save go back to the main menu so now what we are gonna do is test one well actually when you start you get the choice but hear me out now I'm gonna do this you see victory so now you got test two test three right but now if I were to hit test two it well first it wouldn't work because uh, it would crash basically because there is no map called test two so I'm just gonna go main menu uh, so I'm gonna go like test two and I'm gonna be like 10 by 10 and let's just go with like I don't know well let's just with Germany again oops uh, Germany axis and let's just make them play Great Britain for example so select uh, Germany let's just go with like one um, let's say yeah let's just keep it like this uh, I think there is oh yeah no sorry there needs to be uh, something you place otherwise it's not gonna work you need at least uh, I guess one major victory point on the map otherwise uh, it's just going to be over as soon as you hit next turn because uh, when one player has all the victory points uh, the game is basically over so you, you need one yeah you actually need one in each team um and i guess that's all so let's go to main menu let's go. oh no 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 important really important as i said you need to have someone playing first and someone uh playing as the ai so now let's hit save and oh campaign don't forget okay so now we can okay so test one let's do it again so let's conquer okay so now we got the choice still still between test two and test three but uh, the game doesn't know that if we hit well let's just hit it and it doesn't work because there is no test three so it's just i don't even know what just happened it's just like whatever the fuck that was uh so let's just do it again and now let's choose test two oops test two because we made this map so test two and well there is no description there is no name to the scenario but it loaded the map right and guess what you didn't get to choose uh who was playing first or who was the ai or anything because it is a campaign so you are not supposed to be choosing anything um so well this is basically it uh for the editor in itself i think uh, because I just showed you how to make a quick game map and to turn it into a campaign So if you don't want it to be a campaign anymore, just disable campaign and I guess uh, If I am a good developer, even if you win oops, um, You should be yeah, you see you just turn your quick game uh, your campaign into a quick game by just Disabling the campaign option. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful uh, what if you want to have 10 more tiles to the right? Well, X tiles to the right, let's do 10, add, and you get 10 more. Good. What if you want um, 10 more to the top? And bam, you got 10 more to the top. What if you want to do, well, what if you want to do 20 less to the top? Well, done you now got your map modified and you see here width 40 height 20 um let's do this obviously the desert is not going to change because there is no winter version of the desert so it's just not going to change um i guess that's everything i want to show you really 
Um, I know it's going to be a mess now if I do save, save and if I go to the map editor, it's going to be like, they're going to be like, yep, there's going to be all that. Um, this is because every time you change the size, it is making a copy and then it's making a backup of it and it's, it's just a mess. Like, I agree, I agree. Uh, for now, I didn't find any way to have like only one backup, uh, I guess. Like, but, but like, now you really got the choice. If you mess up, uh, you really got the first one, the second one, and you got the backup every time. So, um, it's, it's ugly, but, but it works, you know. So you can just delete everything you don't want to keep. That's fine. And I guess now if we go to test one, it's our base map, you know. We still have it, even though we made a bunch of modifications, we just added tiles, removed tiles, we still have our original map, which is, I think, good. It's worth uh, the pain of removing a bunch of maps that you just created. So the only thing I know that I didn't show you is the overlay. Uh, this is because I didn't plan that, actually. Uh, I guess I could just show you quickly. So I would have to go to my desktop uh get my mm, what if i went to coastal battery what if you wanted to so let's say this is our order of battle so i'm just gonna go get info don't mind the really big uh scale of thing it's just because um on mac os if i have a really high resolution the screen recording is going to drop under 60 fps and it's going to be unbearable for you to watch uh, so let's go to well actually you just want to get this the the path to your uh, to your picture so it is this uh, on Mac on Windows I guess you're gonna do like uh, I guess you can just do like right click properties and like get the path just just get the path so the name is coastal battery jpeg uh, png sorry so whoops so we're just gonna go here paste it slash a uh, slash coastal battery dot png let's just load it into the editor and look at that it's it's just oh, it just works so well so just imagine this is a an order of battle and you would be like painting all over it so you can change its size you can change its opacity and you can completely hide it if you don't want it so that's what you should do you should be doing like just import your thing get it to the size of the screen remove the remove the ui and do the water first uh, or like place all the cities and stuff like that so i guess that's everything i want to show you well except this and i know that i didn't talk about this uh, this is ugh, it's, i'm not satisfied with how it works because if I just toggle it, now you gotta select a tile and be like, just paint. It's like nothing is happening, right? But there is something happening in the background. So now let's say we go here and we go to like uh, December 10th. And so now it's gonna snow, right? Because December 10th, the map should go to snow. But this is block season change, right? When this is toggled, all tiles you will place will not change color during season change. So this is for say, you do a world map and you don't want snow to go away when like it's Greenland or something. So right now snow is gonna, you see snow is gonna, oh, it's not even working. Insane. Did I, did I hit save? I, th I thought I did. Well, basically, all those tiles, they shouldn't have changed season. Like, they should have stayed green. Oh, interesting. It did, I mean, it did work, but, like, I guess, I guess this is broken. Don't use it. Just don't use it. Don't use it until it's fixed. And the other thing I didn't show you was uh, this. XP per secondary objective. XP at the end of the scenario. Base core unit number per rank core unit number. So uh, this value is, let's just say 10, XP at the end of the scenario, let's say 69, and XP per secondary objective 
let's just set it to 15. And now let's make this one, whoops, a secondary objective, secondary, save, go back to the main menu. Let's just, oops, I guess it's not a campaign anymore because this is only for campaigns. Those settings are for the campaigns only. Yeah, campaign. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk about this. Just don't touch it. Just forget about this button. This is for me. This is for when I make maps that are in the base game. Like, don't touch it ever. That's going to break your game. Um, good game. Germany. Yep, human. And so now, you see here now, you got 0 out of 10 core units. That's your max. Uh, this is the core units value that we changed. This is the base value. Now, let's say I capture... Oh, fuck. It's not going to work. Okay, I want to do this. Then this... And we're gonna let France play, okay? Because if I if, if I clicked here, uh, we would have won without capturing this one. So I want to capture this one. So you see, it's the secondary victory point, and we didn't win because it's not required to win. So you see, two out of three, we got two, and the third one is here. This one doesn't count. It's just bonus experience as a commander. Well, I'm just gonna show you. Now I do it, and now victory. Um, so you see, well, it appears you have to make a choice where your forces will be deployed next. This is because we got two uh, map choices. If we had only one, this uh, the sentence wouldn't be showing. And now, you received 15 experience as a commander of the army for having taken one secondary objectives. So, we said 15, 15, 15 experience for uh, per secondary objectives. You earn 69 experience as a commander for completing the scenario. This is all the values we changed. Your rank as a commander is 5. Your XP as a commander is 84. So we just got like rank 5. So now we go here and here we got 15. 15. Why? Because we are rank 5. And the more ranks you got, the higher, I mean, the higher the rank, the more core units you can control. So by changing the experience, um, you get from various things on the map uh, you also control um, the number of victory points uh, of core units sorry uh, of core units uh, you can deploy later on throughout the campaign okay I guess I showed you everything uh, the only thing I know I didn't show you is changing the amount of players so right now be careful with that because when you change, it refreshes everything, it flushes everything, and it's gonna flush your map as well. So you see, it removed all the flags, it removed all the units, it removed everything. So make sure you know how many players you are gonna have on your map bef beforehand, before doing anything else, because Otherwise, you're just going to lose your whole map. I mean, like, I didn't lose the whole map. I just lost all the units and all the flags. And, I mean, on the small map like this, it, it's not really an issue. But if you go to Quick Game, oops, no, Map Editor. If you go to, let's say, Eastern Front, 41, Modify. So I'm just going to be opening in the editor. So let's say you got a map like this or, like, the huge Europe map. And if you go, oh, yeah, let's, go, let's just go, like, two players. Oh fuck, I just removed all the flags and all the units on the map. So now I gotta go like, I gotta go like Australia and I'll go like, oh, normal, oh, normal, oh, normal, oh, normal. Do you know how many there are? Almost 400, good luck. I mean, this is not something you really wanna change because like this, it's just not, it's, it's not, you really want to do it at the beginning when you make your map. It's not something you want to change while you are making your map. Or uh, when you place flags and units because it's removing everything. Um, and I guess that's really it. Like, you could just be, like, placing a bunch of water like that and destroying the map. If you, if you were to hit save. Oh, yeah, right. Bulgaria. Save. So, the thing is, yeah, I opened the Eastern Front 41, right? But because it is an official map, well, Eastern Front 91 modified copy. So, you still have that one with Australia and Bulgaria. This is the one we just modified. And the original one is still here, right? So, this is, by the way, what this 
button here does it it's like you don't modify the real map but you just make a copy out of it uh but it's not gonna work for you because all the maps are in special for folder so just seriously don't use it because it, it's gonna break anything you, you do so don't use it there is just no way you can use it that's only for developer use um i think i think i talked about everything right I went over everything, I went over, yeah, I, I think I told you about everything, wonderful. Well, I'm going to end this video by telling you that I have an awesome news. Um, it is about multiplayer. I'm going to release a public beta really soon uh, for Christmas. That is the goal we have uh, with my colleague, um, with the guy setting up everything for the server, the server guy. So, yeah, uh, stay tuned for that multiplayer that is going to come in, like, because, like, yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, in Christmas, for Christmas, blah, 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 but you don't even know which, uh, what date we are today, 22nd of December, so in three days or so, you should be able to join a public uh, multiplayer um, beta. All right, I think that is all for me today. I... Wish you a good evening, a good day, depending depending on where you live. And see you in the next one.